Hi everybody, welcome to 30 Inks 30 Days, day 14. Almost halfway. So day 12 was Pannonia Abigail uh, in my Jinhao 159. Because a beautiful pink ink like this deserves a pen that can make a statement too. Um, this pen writes kind of dry, or the ink does, or the combination does. So it hasn't been that great, but it is uh, makes it quite legible. I just did this right now. And um, even in these side swipes, you can see it's, it's still easy to read. But that's on t that's yesterday. So I guess we'll take a quick look. Here is the splat from yesterday. Some really good shading in there. Our dried chromatography. So let's pick today's ink. This little box is getting empty. Honestly, I don't really need them in the box because shaking it doesn't matter. Toss them around, and then close my eyes, this one. And that is, ooh, fun. Bioluminescence. Uh, do I have that one on my desk? I do now. Um, so bioluminescence, I got this from an ink flight. It kind of looks like there's shimmer in here. Which would make sense because, you know, luminescence, but look at that. Where did that come from? There's like blue ink on it. How? How? Where did you come from? Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's find the um, card for it while we idly shake. So I, the reason I laughed when I saw this is because, boy, pretty different. Look, I think this has some blue on it, too. Where are you coming from? Oh, I know. This. Pretty well shaken. Um, what pen do I feel like putting this in? I feel like maybe a finer one would be nice because it's so dark. So I think I'll do this. This is a Kara's Customs uh, Fountain K. My first pen that cost any real amount of money. Uh, this should be a medium nib, probably. It could be a fine. don't think it says. We're going to give it a go. Super dark. And I'm going to, since I had so much luck filling from the syringe, or filling with a syringe yesterday, we're going to do that again today. Because we're not, right? I hope you can see this. That's, that's not quite halfway. That's fine. Doesn't need to be, Maria. Okay.
except for like this is gonna ruin the chroma chromatography. Perfect. Yes, perfect. And now just rub the nib onto the jar. Um, and by jar, I mean sample bottle. So, be sad about we totally are ruining the chromatography because there's that blue on there, but whatever. Not a life or death experiment. Is it? I don't think my water level in here is high enough. Should we try and make it work anyway? Seems like that's what I'm doing. Okay. We do this. I wonder if this is actually a fine nib. Sounds like it, doesn't it? In case you're wondering like why I do this, it's just like this is actually kind of a thing I doodle is like, yeah, it's dry, dry, dry. Cross hatching. There we go. Oh man, perfect. Perfect cross hatching, Maria, perfect. This tweezer part after because I can't turn the page if that's all wet. Um, now I don't know whether the blue we're seeing is the contamination. I don't think so. I think there's actual blue in this ink. Lay down. Oh, this pin, I, I try to post it sometimes. I don't know why, because I don't usually post my pins, but it doesn't really. It'll go, but then you can tell you're going to scratch it. Um, <laughs> so, 30 inks, 30 days, June 2022, day 14. Ink. I did, I keep doing it. This is just how I write eyes now, I guess. Van Demons Bioluminescence Pen Kara's Customs There's no look, just ignore that. Shh, shh, shh. Fountain. Okay. What do we think? Do we think that's a medium? If this is a medium, is that a medium? Fine. Yeah, there's clearly blue in that. I didn't think of a thing to write today. We'll do another pangram.
Okay. Always attribute your quotes. I meant Simpson, but I will allow that it could have been the author of the Iliad also. Um, he seems like the kind of guy who'd be like, five dozen liquor jugs, my good sir. Right? Splats. Wow, today's were good. Yes. I'm getting better. Well, I have 13 days of practice before today. Yeah, that's good enough. Good enough. Okay, so chromatography, just lovely. I see like, it kind of looks like a warm black, a hint of a blue that, now this blue here that I'm seeing could be contamination. It, it looks like a, a, a sort of a Prussian blue. And then up here, we've got something that is far closer to aqua. I really like this one. I'm looking forward to using this again. Here we are. This was, I don't know if I said, this was from the first ink flight I ever got, which was March 2022. So here we go. Day 14. Van Diemen's Bioluminescence, Karis Customs, Fountain K. I actually bought three of these pens. I have this blue one, I have a black one that's just like it, and then one that is, or well, and I bought one that was all this aluminum that I gave to my boss. Um, well, I so I gave him the choice between the silver one and the black one, and I was like, you get to pick one. And he chose the silver. Oh, and by silver, I mean like, I don't know, brushed aluminum or whatever. Anyway, uh, look, I'm done talking now. Thank you. Thanks for hanging out with me. Have a good day. Bye.